Are you feeling like a zombie lately? Tired of the same old energy drinks promising the world but delivering the jitters at a crash? Look no further than Sneak Energy, your secret weapon for all your energy needs. With all natural ingredients, Sneak will give you all the energy you need to boost through your day without feeling like a lab rat on caffeine. Don't believe us? Try it yourself and see what a difference it can make to your routine. So what are you waiting for? Hit the link in the description and pick up your Sneak Starter Pack today. Now enjoy the clip. Would you want him at Man United? We'll talk about that in a moment. But I, what I do want to talk about is Harry Kane. This is not breaking news. Slow, this is slow sports news in a sense that Man United will face it, face, uh, find it very, very difficult to bring Harry Kane to Manchester United. But this morning, more reports coming out from London that Daniel Levy is basically saying forget about it to Harry Kane, forget about it to Chelsea, forget about it to Manchester United. He will not be selling Harry Kane to a Premier League club. If he wants to leave, he can go abroad. Morning, Mark. If the Glazers still want to own a club, why don't they take the five billion and buy Liverpool, says Barry. And Neymar rumour true, says Jaden. We'll talk about that in a moment. So Spurs are saying, look, I think this Harry Kane thing's really interesting, but I, I'm going to, you know, this is my announcement this morning. I'm just working on the assumption that we're not getting Harry Kane. I'm sure we'll be talking about Harry Kane. I'm sure we'll be linked to Harry Kane. But I'm having had a hunch all season that we were going to buy him. I'm officially out. I'm out. I've got no hunch anymore. I'm out. I think the hunch that we were going to buy Harry Kane was right. I don't think we're buying him now. I think United have woken up, smelt the Maxwell house from their bedroom and gone, that's a nice coffee. I'm going to smell that coffee and wake up because I do not think this Harry Kane deal is viable. When Daniel Levy starts putting out stuff to the press that he'd rather die in a footballing sense than sell Man, Man United Harry Kane, he is going to not sell his Harry Kane. He can't go back on that. So I think that what Levy is saying is you can go to Real Madrid, you can go to Bayern Munich, you can go to PSG, but you are not going to Man United or Chelsea. There is no, unless they give us something stupid. And we would be stupid to give them anything more than 100. I think even 100 million is too much. Anyone else is such a come down in levels, says Robert. Yeah, look, Robert, I, it's funny. You know what? I, I, I got clipped up on Talk Sport on Sunday night and I said, to, I said to Jamie O'Hara, I don't want Harry Kane. The amount, my mentions have been popping off the last 24 hours. Goldbridge is an idiot. Goldbridge is, you know, the jokes about Goldbridge and Schofield and my mum and all sorts of stuff. I'm like, I never, it's, it's hilarious. I, I, I've always said Harry Kane's world class. I just would prefer Osman. I don't have a problem if we sign Harry Kane. At no point have I ever said Harry Kane's rubbish. I don't want him at Man United. I just would rather we went for something else. If Ten Hag wants Kane and we get Kane, I'm happy. Back him. World class. I just would rather we went for something else. I do think there are alternatives out there. But I think we've got to wake up and smell the coffee, like I say. We've got to move on. Younger striker needed, says Abdullah. Why not? Why not? But if we, I would shut the door on Kane, not going through a summer of pain again. To line Levy's pockets, not worth it, says Nick P. And I think that's what United need to do. Sometimes you wake up on Christmas Day morning, you didn't get a PS5. You got a pair of socks. Move on. It's, you're not going to change it. The shops are shut. Get on with it. That's what we've got to do. And I think that's where we are now. Uh, Mark, why can't we just go out and get Osman? Says Jacob. My birthday is Saturday. City better not spoil it. Says Shay. Oh. <laughs> oh. Your birthday on Saturday. I tell you what, it's going to be it's going to be a great one or a bad one. Yeah. Uh, if we really want Harry Kane, why don't we buy uh, Lewandowski? Says Adam. Lewis. Well, Benzema. Benzema's available. Apparently, Benzema might leave Real Madrid. But look, on Harry Kane, Goldbridge is officially closing the door. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen, but I'm officially closing the door. The messages coming out of Spurs are strong. We're not selling him. This would take silly money for United to do it, and they wouldn't get it done till the end of August. We've got such a very well-orchestrated pre-season by Ten Hag. Mark, why are we not going for Don Jonathan David this summer? Because he's crap, Tony. Nah, he's not crap. He's, he's, he's not good enough for what we need. There's better than him. Um, but we've got such a tight, well-organised summer. There are so many pre-season games. There is such an intense uh, schedule set out by Eric Ten Hag. You cannot do that and then be thinking, I might get my striker at the end of August. No, we've got to be ready to go in August. 
And it doesn't matter what Robert McCormack says in the sense that it's such a drop down from Harry Kane. I'd rather have a Vlahovic, an Ozerman, a Ramos in the club at the start of July on pre-season pre tour than Harry Kane coming in at the end of August for silly money. We've just got to go and move on and, and take the message. Because unless Harry Kane puts in a transfer request, which changes everything, I think we've just got to move on. And I'm going to move on. And I think we have to move on. Uh, KD says, do we need two strikers? We do. We do need two strikers. Cavani, Cavani was not replaced. Ronaldo was not replaced. We need two strikers. We do need two strikers. I don't know whether we would get one. Um, I'm with Tony Westwood. I do like...